Here by TKO, still undefeated, the pound for pound, the best in the world, the former two-time world champion, the undefeated pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. So he's still unbeaten and continues to try to stake his claim as not the number two behind Hopkins, but rather the number one pound for pound fighter in the sport. Maybe they should be one and one A. There's a look at total punches. Mayweather 219 out of 440. Hopkins' campaign will continue February 19 against Howard Eastman. He's now 40 years old. Brazellis landing 24% of his own punches. Power punches, it was a Mayweather festival as he landed nearly 60% of his power shots. Even if you're fighting a fly, if he lands 60% of his power shots, eventually he'll do some damage. Let's go to Larry Merchant with Floyd Joy Mayweather. Thank you very much, Jim. Uh, congratulations, Floyd. And uh, who's this you got in your arms here? Uh, this is my daughter, Ayana. Uh, Ayana Mayweather, my oldest daughter. First of all, I want to thank God for this victory. And uh, I feel good tonight. You were in with an opponent who couldn't do anything to you, so did... After a few rounds, the whole thing come down to, I've got to stop this guy? Well, I just took my time to listen to my corner. Uh, he was tough. I hit him with some good shots, and he, and he took the shots early on. But I knew eventually the shot was going to break him down, and um, I was going to drown him in deep waters once he got late. What was that little dust-up you had with with Uncle Roger in the corner? I, I was telling him, Roger, I told you um, I trained hard for this fight. And I told him it's going to be easy work. My Uncle Roger is the best trainer in the world. And we've done it for all the fans back in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and all the fans over the but, world. But what, what was the little dispute about? No, no dispute, no dispute. We're having fun. Me and my Uncle Roger's having fun. The best trainer in the world is Roger Mayweather, and we all know it. Do you believe that the fight with Arturo Gatti will come off in June if he wins next week? Well, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. It's a good fight next week. Arturo Gatti's a... A, a tough opponent. I want to fight the best they got out there. I would love to fight Constant Zoo or Toro Gotti, the best out there. And I hear that Shane Mosley is coming down to 147. I hear Oscar De La Hoya is coming down to 147. For Floyd Mayweather is willing to go to 147 and fight Shane Mosley or fight Oscar De La Hoya. Um, Gotti was supposed to be here tonight to watch you in person to help to build up the big fight. But he seems uncertain because of some of the problems you have that it's ever going to come off. Is it going to come off? Uh, Otoro Gotti fighting Floyd Mayweather will fight this summer. It will happen. It's a big pay-per-view fight. I want all the fans to tune in this summer because Floyd Mayweather is fighting four times this year. This is my first fight back on HBO after eight months, and I'm ready to go. Thank you very much, Floyd. Thank you for having me. Congratulations you. again. Pound for pound, yeah. baby. Pound for pound. It's so funny because Floyd's father, Floyd Mayweather Sr., loves to call himself the greatest trainer in the world in boxing. And so Floyd makes the point, well, my Uncle Roger, his brother, is the greatest trainer in the world. This yeah. is another impeccable show for uh, Floyd Mayweather. It's hard to imagine how it could get any better. Wonderful show for Floyd Mayweather. I think he fought an exceptional fight tonight. Vivian Harris told me to tell Larry Merchant that if you tell a story on him again, he's going to kill him. He said <laughs> that he did not turn down a fight with uh, Miguel Cotto, and he'll fight Miguel Cotto any day of the week. And if Larry keep running his mouth, somebody's going to jump on him. That's what he told me to tell him. Now, I ain't got nothing to do with that, though. <laughs> You're promoting fights again, huh? <laughs> I'm always promoting. Vivian Harris versus Larry Merchant. A lot of people have been waiting for that one. Floyd mentioned... Uh, uh, Oscar De La Hoya, Shane Mosley, Shane Mosley Costa Zoo. I don't know if I were Oscar De La Hoya or Shane Mosley if I'd even want to give Floyd Mayweather a chance against me at well, 147 pounds. Well, because he had everything to gain and nothing to lose, and they would have everything to lose and nothing to gain. Exactly. So that would be really a dumb fight for either one of those guys, but you never know what happens in this game. Money talks, and you never know. If Mayweather were to get a chance to beat Costa Zoo and do it, maybe he'd be a big enough star that the money would make it talk. That, that would be a good fight. I would also like to see him maybe take on a person like a Zab Judah. All right. Well, we'll see what happens down the road. Meanwhile, next week, we'll get a chance to see whether Gaddy Mayweather comes into clear focus as Gaddy gets ready for James Leha. And Larry, uh, half of that equation is now in place. Your final reflections on Floyd Mayweather Jr. and the heavyweight fight with Sam Peter. We saw Sam Peter. We want to see more of him. <laughs> we will see more of Floyd Mayweather. Um, with all the uh, problems he's had outside of the ring, I'm reminded of uh, one of the lyrics in a new country and western song by Toby Keith about 
the bar he loves and it goes we've got winners we've got losers we've got sinners we've got boozers it's boxing very few saints in boxing i love the way you quote the lyrics i might need to get you some new record albums <laughs> all right We'll have a final word on what happened here in the ring in just a moment. Right now, let's look ahead to um, uh, some upcoming programs here on HBO.